Many people view Vincent van Gogh's The Starry Night as a representation of the artist's tumultuous mental state because of the painting's sweeping, undulating lines of hills, mountains, and sky, its vividly contrasting blues and yellows, its large, flame-like cypress trees, and its thick, layered brush strokes. However, the question is, what it actually means. Hello and welcome to Stories Behind Art. This video will go beyond the colors of Starry Nights and describe the true meaning of Vincent van Gogh's art. So, without further ado, let's get started. Hope is one theme that has been associated with the Starry Night painting. As far as I can tell, Van Gogh was trying to demonstrate that even on a night as gloomy as this, there is still light to be seen in the windows of the houses. Additionally, the sky is filled with bright stars that can be a constant source of illumination. Van Gogh appears to have been cured of his ailment and arrived in Nirvana. He painted the starry night to express his confidence that he would be at peace in death. In a letter to his brother Vincent, Theo says, I should not be surprised if you love the starry night. There is a greater quiet about them than in the other works. In a later section of the letter, he alludes to the atheism of Leo Tolstoy's My Religion. These passing references to religion indicate Van Gogh's current emotions on the topic. He could not reject it or forget about it completely. Despite this, the fact that he used the word silent and cited a book by Tolstoy shows that he found peace among the stars and was reminded of eternity. The church spire and cypress tree in Starry Night represent man and nature, both pointing upwards, illustrating nature's tremendous power. By depicting the night sky with the bright moon to the right and Venus in the center left, Van Gogh ushered in a new era of painting that embraced mood, expression, symbol, and sentiment. The starry night is both an exercise in observation and a clear departure from it. It was inspired by the view from the artist's window at the St. Paul de Mausolée Asylum in St. Remy in southern France, where he spent 12 months in 1889-90 seeking relief from his mental illnesses. Unlike the rest of the hundreds of artworks, Van Gogh produced that year, this one was painted in numerous sessions during the day when the lighting and temperature were different from the nighttime vision. Because of the hills, he couldn't see the quaint village below from his window, and the cypress tree on the left looked much more closely than it was. And although certain parts of the sky have been reconstructed as witnessed, the artist adjusted celestial formations and added a sense of warmth. Van Gogh attributed an emotional language to night and nature that moved them far from their true appearances. Dominated by vivid blues and yellows applied with gestural verve and immediacy, the starry night also demonstrates how inseparable Van Gogh's vision was from the new procedures of painting he had devised, in which color and paint describe a world outside the artwork even as they telegraph their status as, merely, color and paint. The expansive view of Saint Remy de Provence from the asylum room where the artist painted Starry Night is interpreted in a dreamlike manner. Even though Van Gogh painted this landscape multiple times, Starry Night is the only nighttime study of it. As a result, it provides a unique midnight window into the artist's solitary vision. In a letter he penned in May 1889, he described how he could make out a square of wheat in an enclosure through the iron barred window, above which in the morning I see the sunrise in its grandeur. There is apocalyptic destruction in Van Gogh's starry night, with molten aerolites and drifting comets. It's as if the artist has painted out his inner turmoil. Everything here is the product of a massive merger of space and time. The exception is the village's architecture in the foreground. This painting shows the world as Van Gogh saw while confined to an asylum. Van Gogh described the moment that inspired him in several letters to his brother Theo. This morning I observed the village from my house window a long time before sunrise, with nothing but the morning stars, which appeared huge. Second, he omitted the metal restraints. Given that Van Gogh's studio was on the ground floor, art historians believe he may have embellished the view from his second floor bedroom window. The uninviting bars on the window were also omitted, but he did mention them in another letter to Theo. His letter from May 1889 reads, Through the barred window made of iron. At dawn, I look out over a fenced-in wheat square and witness the sun rising over its horizon. Third, the town was more made up than anything else. Van Gogh couldn't have seen Saint Remy from his window. 
Some art historians believe that the Starry Night's depiction of a French village is based on one of Van Gogh's charcoal sketches of that location. Death may be the theme of the Starry Night. Cypress trees, recognizable by their dark, soaring trunks, are a common sight in cemeteries. This context lends a deeper meaning to the words of Van Gogh when I look up at the stars. I can't help but daydream. Why I wonder, can't the stars be as easily available as the little black dots on a map of France? Van Gogh painted the first version of Starry Night, also known as Starry Night over the Rhone. In 1888, Van Gogh got fixated on painting the city's night sky after moving to Arles, France. He experimented with depicting it in a cafe terrace on the Place du Forum before he worked up the courage to create the first draft of Starry Night while overlooking the Rhone River. And while that's all for today's video, to catch us soon, though, click on the bell icon. Until then, take care, and we'll see you soon.